In this video, we'll look at what happens if you die without a will. So let's get started. First of all, Julianne, what are some reasons people mention for not making a will? Here are some of the reasons people sometimes give. I've been with my spouse for 35 years, so of course I'll get everything anyways. Or, I don't have much property or money. Thanks, Julianne, but what many people don't realize is that if you die without a will, it's the law that determines who gets what. For example, if someone has been in a common law relationship even for 35 years, the common law spouse will inherit nothing, not a cent. If the couple was legally married, the wife or husband will receive something, but not necessarily everything. For example, if the couple had children, the spouse will receive one third of the estate and the children will receive two thirds. So you can't assume your husband or wife will get everything, even if you've been legally married for decades. And even if you don't have much money or property, you probably want to choose who will get what once you're gone. So it's definitely to your advantage to find out what the law says about dying without a will when considering whether or not to make a will. It's also important to know that the procedures for settling the estate will be more complicated if you die without a will. A notary or lawyer will have to prepare a document saying who will inherit what, according to the law. This is called a declaration of heredity. Also, additional paperwork will be necessary to name a liquidator for the estate. So to summarize, if you want to be sure who will get what once you're gone, it's best to make a will. You'll also be making things much easier for your loved ones. To learn more about the different types of wills you can make, and about what happens if you die without a will, Please see the other videos in this series, What Type of Will Should I Make? and visit the websites of the Paul-André Crepeau Centre and Educalois.